Okay, my people, uh, let's uh, try tackling this amazing, whoa, this amazing uh, kite problem in here. And I see, we do see a kite in here. We have uh, these two sides being congruent, and we have these two sides being congruent. And there we go, we have a kite. Remember from the previous uh, lesson, uh, excuse me, video, we have lots and lots of beautiful symmetry uh, along the kite in here, and that's going to be this axis in here. Notice it's not up and down this time. I kind of rotated the kite around. If you turn your head, you can see there's beautiful symmetry along that axis of symmetry um, uh, along uh, within this kite. All right, so um, what are we going to do here? Well, we have in yellow all this information about these segments, and that's going to help us find all the segments, and it's going to help us find the perimeter. But what I really want to focus on right now is finding all the angles. And so I see a couple little uh, kickstarts here of some angle measures uh, within this kite. I see one's 10 degrees and one's 20 degrees. So if you start thinking about the mirror image of a kite in here, hopefully you can recognize that that's going to be 20 degrees. This one's going to be 10 degrees. And uh-oh, are we stuck? No. One of the first thing that has to come to your mind with kites is the diagonals will always be perpendicular. And so if that's the case, now I see four right triangles. I see a right triangle here and here, and I see a right triangle on here and here. So those four little triangles, those right ones, we can use the angle sum theorem to deduce that this angle has to be 70. And then the mirror image and also the triangle at the bottom, that one has to be 70. Because 20 and 70 are complementary angles. And altogether it equals 180. And then these other two angles over here, this is going to be 80 degrees. And that's going to be 80 degrees as well. One, the mirror image, and also if you're looking at this triangle in here, uh, 80 and 90, excuse me, 80 and 10, they're complementary and they add up to be 90 along with the other 90 degree angle, that's uh, 180, that's the angle sum theorem. So we just found all the angles within a kite. There's one more little uh, showcase here with the angles I want you to uh, recognize is this is 160 as a group. And this is one and this is 40 so I got 160 and 40 so far it looks like I have 200 degrees and this one is going to be 80 degrees and this one's going to be 80 degrees so if I add up all of the interior measures of this entire kite notice it's a four-sided shape and we learned uh, back a few chapters ago that all quadrilaterals have to be 360 degrees and we just kind of showcase this to uh, verify this here with this one little example that yes we do have 360 degrees in this quadrilateral that just happens to be a kite so we have done uh, part one here we have found all the angles in this kite so i'm going to erase all those angles and what i'm going to do now is focus on these yellow clues in here of these segments. So let's uh, label things clearly. Well, the first one is talking about AC as 21 units. Well, that's not this part uh, se separate, excuse me, together this whole diagonal is going to be 21. Okay, so I'll put that in black there. Um, this segment here is BD, that's the other diagonal. And it turns out, if that's 24, then this diagonal uh, is always going to be bisected. Not the black long line uh, along the axis of symmetry. But the other diagonal always gets uh, cut into two equal parts because previously we discovered there's congruent triangles and corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So that produces a 12 and a 12 for those little baby uh, segments within that diagonal. And then the last little segment we know is A, B is 13. Well, if that one's 13, that one's 13 right there. And so what you got to see here is once again, we have lots and lots of right triangles, and I'm showcasing one of them right here, and hopefully you recognize that we have two out of the three 
sides of this blue triangle or if you want to see it a different way we have two out of three sides of the bottom triangle so if you use Pythagoras with those numbers in here it just so happens that this little segment in here turns out to be five units that's a pretty famous Pythagoras triple that's called the 5 12 13 triangle so most of us are pretty comfortable with Pythagoras make sure you're always uh, able to execute Pythagoras that is uh, five well using this fact that the entire diagonal uh, AC is 21 well 21 take away 5 is going to be 16 because now we got 5 plus 16 well that equals 21 well we're trying to find all the segments we're getting closer and closer and ultimately we're going to find the perimeter well in order to find the perimeter it would be nice to know this side in here BC well, what you're going to do is recognize that we have another right triangle in here and we know two out of the three sides of that triangle or if you don't want to use that triangle you can certainly use the bottom green triangle we know two out of the three sides of that triangle but once again if you use pythagoras i'm just going to make up a number in here excuse me a variable in here w if we have 12 squared plus 16 squared equals w squared uh, w in this case does turn out to be a nice whole number uh, it's not always a nice whole number but again this is a nice Pythagoras triple W turns out to be 20 here when you do the arithmetic so if that's 20 then the other side in here has to be 20 so we have just found all the segments of this kite using Pythagoras twice and there's one thing left to find and that's the perimeter and what is the perimeter going to be all together well I have to add up four numbers uh, 13 and 13 is 26 that's these two sides and 20 and 20 is 40 so all together it's looking like the perimeter is 66 units that's the distance around the outside of the shape and that's what we refer to as perimeter so hopefully this problem um, uh, showcased your uh, skills of analyzing the triangles uh, within the kite and discovering how we can use Pythagoras to find some segments and also using the axis of symmetry to find all the angles. And I will see you soon.